All right, guys, another video. This is a video on how to get your domain tied into your uh, ClickFunnels, okay? So basically, we need to go get you a domain. I've done the video on how to use Bluehost. If you want to sign up for Bluehost for web hosting to build a website and get domains, you are more than welcome to go watch that video. If not, you do not have to. I'm just showing you because I have Bluehost how to tie your website in and create a C name for that account okay so from your main page you're gonna hover over your little head over here guys you can put a picture here by the way I just haven't done it um, click domains as you see right here I have productive lifestyles.com and best affiliate marketing.org tied up this is gonna be my membership site and this is my actual product on my website I haven't made productive lifestyles live as an actual website so don't go looking at it cuz there's nothing there so um, there actually is something there, but it's <laughs> it's a complete screw up. So I wouldn't even go look at it. Um, all right, so for Natural Strength Academy, I don't have it verified. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna verify it here. Actually, first things first, let me show you how to add a domain. Okay, sorry, add new domain. You're gonna go in here. If you want to register a new domain, you're more than welcome to do that here. But if you have Bluehost, like I have, I buy all my host through Bluehost so I don't have to deal with outside sources and trying to point the name to what for like a dollar to save. I mean, with Namecheap.com, you can get it for like 8 or $9. For Bluehost, you can get it for like $11, $12. So for the couple extra bucks, I don't have to deal with redirecting where my web domain is being pointed to. Even though it's easy, i just rather them all be in one area. I know when I go to do a repurchase, I have to do it just straight through Bluehost. Bluehost to me is amazing, guys, and that's not just because I'm an affiliate for them, but I've never had an issue with them. I had my website go down twice during the summer last year, and it was twice within two days, and I, I didn't realize that it was a plugin crashing my website, but the first time I went in there, they had no problem fixing it, and the next time, the guy tried to upsell me, but the thing was, he still fixed my problem within 10 minutes, okay? So, guys... I love Bluehost. You don't have to have Bluehost, but that's just my opinion. Um, but you have added your domain. So if you have bought a domain through Namecheat.com, through GoDaddy, through Bluehost, through SiteGround, through anybody that you have, then you could just go here, hit existing domain. If you'd rather not, go to choose a domain. You're going to put your domain in, and you can find it through ClickFunnels itself and purchase it. Guys, I think it's like $14 through ClickFunnels. So that's your call, or you can just add your own domain, all right? So you would use existing domain, and then what you would do, it would go in here, and it would say unverified, all right? If you want to get rid of any of these, you would click edit and delete it, or you can hit visit. Um, I have Natural Strength Academies. That is the one I showed you earlier for when I showed you how to build a website with ClickFunnels. So as you see right here, I have my SSL. Um, I can remove the domain. I can edit my zone records, which is your DNS zone records, which that's if you purchase it through ClickFunnels, okay? Uh, this is your default page, so you can set the default page up when it pops up. So you could have it as the actual website, or you can actually have it as a different page. So when people go to that uh, page, it can be completely different. You could have it as your affiliate page under Natural Strength Academy or under whatever your website is. You could have it where it sends it to, like, say you sell books and pencils and papers, and you have a link for each one. You could have it where it sends them to that page when they go to naturalstrengthacademy.com instead of just the main homepage. Okay, so we're going to go here, and this is how we're going to redirect and put, well, verify our name with their system and their domain so it matches for ClickFunnels and you verify, okay? So when we click verify, what's gonna happen is up, up here, as you see, it says in order for your custom domain to work, you will need to log into where you bought your domain and add a C name record that points to Natural Strength Academy at the target clickfunnels.com. If you're not sure how to do this, they have detailed instruction. Guys, they took down the one for Bluehost. They have one for Namecheap and a couple other ones. But I'm going to show you how to use Bluehost. So you're going to go over to Bluehost. 
I'm already logged into my Bluehost and you're going to go over here where it says domains. You see right here, click domains. Once that brings this up, you're going to have this. It should bring up all my domains in a second. And guys, I will show you that I am not bluffing. You see all my domains, okay? You're going to go over to zone editor and you are gonna pick their domain. In this case, I have Natural Strength Academy, okay? Uh, right here, boom, Natural Strength Academy. It is gonna load all my records for my DNS, okay? These are called zone file, file records. You have your A records, your C name records, your mail exchanger, your text records, your service records, and your host records, which is your IP, uh, ICP, I, TCIC, I, I can't even say it. I don't even care. TCP, I can't even remember what it's called now. Okay, screw it. <laughs> all right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at here. You're gonna go to C name, all right? What you're gonna do is it says right here, it says target.clickfunnels.com. So if you want to, you can just drag it right here. Copy that, all right? Go back to your DNS records. You can point that to this, all right? What you're going to want to do is you want to go down here to Natural Strength Academy and you're going to completely remove this host record from the C name. See, under C name, it says www, points to this, under that. So just go ahead and delete that. It's going to say, do you want to delete this? You're going to say yes, okay? Once it reloads that, you're going to see I have nothing there, all right? So what I want to do is go www, don't worry about the period. I'm going to put t the TTL, leave it at 1440. Or 400 as you see right here that's what it is okay or right here then you're gonna point it to target.clickfunnels.com what that is is that's their domain so when you go to natural strength Academy it's gonna send you to the click funnels page and like I said you can point it to the natural pay uh, the natural strength Academy's homepage but you just have to point it in the settings but you're gonna hit add record as you see, successfully added records. You go down here and you hit refresh on your uh, Bluehost. You're gonna go back to Natural Strength Academy and you're gonna go down here and you're gonna see www.target.clickfunnels.com, okay? So now we're gonna go back to ClickFunnels and we're gonna go here again, click that and let's hit verify. What in the world? Oh, I know what it is. Um, we're gonna go, uh, go back here. I believe this is what it is. I'm not gonna edit any of this. I'm just gonna show you. Uh, you're gonna go here, go back to domains. I believe this is how it works. I'm trying to remember because I did this the other night. Hit but verify. Still giving me that problem. Why? It's something to do with Bluehost, I believe. Uh, I don't know why it's giving me a problem because I added it to the C name. So let's go back here. No, I don't want to get Go back here. And we're going to go to Zone Editor. And then we're going to select the domain, which is National Strength Academy. And then it should be right here. So give it a minute. As you see right here, it says DNS ch changes could take up to four hours for propagation. Um, so if that's the case, guys, I would just literally give it time because the thing is, it's still not letting me verify it. Let me try this. I'm going to sign out and I'm going to sign back in. And then I'm gonna go back to this, go to domains, and I'm going to go here. Because guys, it didn't give me this much problem last time I verified one. It's still giving me problems. It's it's dom it's this because it hasn't it hasn't updated it yet. Uh just give it time. Um Let me try this real quick. I'm going to completely log out of Bluehost. 
I'm going to log back into Bluehost. We're going to go to Domains. We're going to go to Zone Editor. Should go to National Strength Academy. It should be at the top of the Rikers panel. It's not. So this should be up here. It should be the top. Um, so, because if you go to any of my other ones, like this one right here, no, it's changed. It's down there. Okay. Well, that's not the problem then. I just have no idea. Like I said, I guess sometimes it just takes a little bit longer. Um, click that. Expand. See, that's going through click funnels. Verify that. There you go. Finally verified. Sorry guys, it took a minute, but like I said, it does take a minute. Okay. Um But yeah, that's how it goes. Sometimes you just have to wait a minute. Thank you for bearing with me for the minute that I was sitting there trying to figure it out. Uh but yeah, guys, that's how it works. You just have to be patient with it. And I appreciate you watching the videos. But this is this is how you do it, okay? Sorry it's a little choppy this video, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't edit anything. I wanted you to see the raw action of it happening so you can see it happen. That you know if it happens to you, it's not just you. It does happen. Okay? So that's how you get it verified. Now if I go down to, it should, if I go to National Strength Academy, well, it's taking me to my WordPress site. Okay? So, but that's because I haven't tied natural strength academy into the two natural strength academy under my funnel okay so don't worry i uh i will show you how to do that here in a minute but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will talk to you soon and in the next video we're going to show you if you do end up using wordpress to build websites i'm going to show you how you can tie your click funnels uh funnel for what you're building like the natural strength academy like this for me okay this is not an like I showed you earlier this is not an actual uh, WordPress website this is through ClickFunnels so you're able to take the ClickFunnels plugin and make this show up under when you go to www.naturalstrengthacademy so you can have it through your WordPress okay so guys I will show you in the next video and I do appreciate you watching and I will talk to you soon